Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Epcot. We are here for the Taste of Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna look at some merch, we're gonna eat some sweet treats, might throw up on Test Track later, who knows? Let's find out. Like every other festival they do have a scavenger hunt uh, I know we did spike the bee in the past for flower and garden they usually have Chippendale but this year they switched it up it's not Chippendale it's Olaf's holiday tradition expedition 2020 once again maps are $7.99 you go around the country so you find all the other Epcot the all the other Olaf symbols and whatnot that have to do with the holidays you put them down on each country that they belong to, and then you cash it in for some kind of prize. Could be cool, could be fun, not what we're here to do today. We are obviously here for the Festival of the Holidays, but just like every infomercial you've seen in your life, that's not all. If you look here in your handy dandy festival guidebook, you will see they are doing a holiday cookie stroll. My buddy Ken and I did this a couple of years ago and we wanted to throw up. Not because the cookies were bad, but because they are a lot. It's a lot of shit. Luckily for me, back then I had a buddy to share it with. Today, however, I am on a solo trip. So, if I throw up, then at least it's good internet content. There are five cookies scattered all across World Showcase. We are gonna go around World Showcase. We're gonna find every single last cookie. And when we do, if we turn it back in, we can get a complimentary sixth cookie. Also, by the way, I haven't eaten anything at all today and it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Stay hydrated, I guess. Anyways, onward we go. Looks to me by checking into our handy dandy guidebook, that our first cookie will be over in the Canada Pavilion. This is so weird. Normally I walk World Showcase, I start by Mexico, because that's where the margarita stand is. And then I work my way around and walk off the margarita that I had. All right, so we got our first cookie stamped over here at the Canada Pavilion. Sorry if the angle is a little weird, I'm on a rock. My tripod is on a rock. I've got a bottle of water. Hydrating in Florida is ever so crucial. Let me sit that down on the ground there. Here's our cookie. It looks actually pretty good. It just kind of looks like a peppermint sugar cookie. Some sprinkles on the side. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So the sprinkles tend to be where the peppermint flavor is coming from. And then the rest of it is a sugar cookie. Next cookie. Our next cookie brings us here to the World Showplace. Over here at the Festival Favorites booth, we will find the most That's adorable right. gosh darn so cookie I've really ever seen. We also got a book stamp for it. A little gingerbread stamp. Have your kids shield your eyes because I'm about to decapitate this boy. Alright, so not only is this gingerbread adorable, but it tastes good. You know, in eating gingerbread, 
a way to get into the spirit of the season, honestly. We do, in fact, have three cookies and a complimentary cookie left. We are not at all even close to being done. But you cannot look at a section containing festival exclusive merch and not go in. Brand new spirit jersey, new festival, new spirit jersey. Are we even surprised? Festival holidays 2020, along with new mini ears. They also have a Chippendale cookie jar for the holiday cookie stroll. Over here, may your holiday be nutty and bright. Chippendale. How are we feeling about the design of Chippendale? It, it took me a minute. It took me a minute because I know the eyes are drawn a little bit differently in this design, but I enjoy it. I like it. It's, uh, it just took me a second to get used to it. I'm liking it. Spirit of the season, getting a little bit colder. Fleece, throw blankets, always nice. Keep those things around the house, and that is the design for that. Over here we got lots of ornaments. I like that Mickey one with the gingerbread. That's very cute. We got a uh, Mickey and Minnie. Make it a gingerbread house. All of the hearts. The heart is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's very sparkly one over here. Plenty of other ornaments on the other side as well. As much as I'd love to keep looking at merch, the cookies are calling. Our next cookie is located between Morocco and France. And it's a black and white cookie. Get it? I'm sitting down on a bench, which doesn't give me like the full view, but whatever. But here's the cookie. It's black and white cookie, because you know, between France and Morocco. This thing is gigantic. Why would they want to do this to us? I mean, do you have any idea how many cookies we're eating today? It's ridiculous. Anyways. Mm. I gave this cookie a lot of flack. I really do. I know I kind of made fun of it in the beginning. You'll get it. And I said how big it was and all of that, but. Mm. This is the best one. This is so good. Oh my God. This genuinely makes me excited for the rest of the food. All right, everybody, we are happy. Halfway there, halfway there, three cookies down. Over here in the American Pavilion. If you couldn't figure it out by now, by watching me enough, I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, my sweet tooth is exceptionally leaned toward the chocolate. You know, it's not, it's got a, you know, the chocolate cookie, it's got powdered sugar, it looks pretty good. I'm literally only going to say this. I'm only going to say this word in case my sister is watching. I know this is not a beignet. And I know that on beignets, they put powdered sugar. This is a chocolate cookie with beignet powder. Go back and watch my, seriously, go back and watch one of my Mardi Gras Universal videos. You'll get it, you'll roast me too, it's okay. Anyways, chocolate cookie, beignet powder, whatever, let's go. Definitely the messiest cookie that we've had so far because of the powder. Um, it's good. I, I definitely the black and white cookie right now, so far at least, is the winner. But we do have two more. Is it two more or three more? Two more. We have one more bot cookie and a complimentary cookie left, so we'll see, we'll see. All right, everybody, we're about to go to the next cookie, but before we do, enjoy the sounds of Mariachi Cobra.
right in front of the, ha the Germany pavilion in order to get our next cookie. And then this loud music goes on behind me. You know what that means. You've been to Epcot with me before. It means characters. Here comes the man himself. Back to it, back to the task at hand. The cookie stroll is not finished. This music is so epic. Over here at the Bavaria Holiday Kitchen, we will get the Linzer cookie and also the last paid cookie that we need. All right, it definitely looks interesting. I like that little like, star on there. Anyways, how does it taste? You don't care. About how it looks. I don't think so. Maybe you do. Okay. No. It's not bad. It's not okay. Asterisk. I'm not that picky. And I'm sure that there's someone out there that's really, really gonna love this cookie. Because of the unique nature of it. Not for me. So it's like, it's like you took two sugar cookies. Not even sugar cookies, like a shortbread cookie. With some powder on it, some jelly in the middle. Um, even when it comes to like a jelly donut though, the jelly thing is not really like, no pun intended, my jam. So, uh, it's okay. We got another cookie left. Nice little palate cleanser, and this time, it is a complimentary cookie. Let's go finish this thing up, shall we? And our complimentary cookie will be located at the Showplace Plaza, and will be a mini peppermint cookie. Not to be confused with the World Showplace Pavilion. I know it can be confusing. And the booth itself is called Holiday Sweets and Treats. I promise I'm only putting enough emphasis on this because I did get a little bit confused myself. The complimentary cookie is going to be next to the immediate booth next to the tree. Okay, so see the tree? You see the tree right there? You see that booth right there? Holiday Sweets and Treats. Free cookie time. And with one final stamp, I give you the Minnie Mouse Peppermint Cookie. Hands down the cutest cookie of the entire day. I'm sure it might be the cutest, but is it the best taster? So far, I think the black and white cookie is probably my favorite. I do like that this one's kind of like individually wrapped though, so. It's good. It's pretty good. But of all the cookies I've had today, as good as they all were, my favorite. Still that black and white cookie in between Morocco and France. I guess it just goes to show, if I make fun of something, then it means it's pretty awesome. And that right there, as you guys see, is our final cookie. Oh no! You know what that means? You know what that means? You know what that means? Time to sign off. So comes to an end to our first holiday Disney video of the year. It was super fun. I highly suggest doing the cookie stroll. And to be honest, I didn't get as sick this time. Maybe the channels made me uh, more, a little bit more tolerant to sweets. Actually, to be honest, yeah. Most of the stuff I film is food reviews. So, yeah. You guys either want to see me drunk or uh, sugar high, so. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe down below for weekly adventures. Ring that little bell icon for notifications on every single episode. And a happy holidays.